Hey you guys, it's Mother Diva. I'm here at the Hard Rock Casino in Gary, Indiana. Tonight the Jacksons will be performing. They've come home to Gary. And our group is here at the Harvest Buffet. And we're getting ready to do Jackson trivia. Say hi to everybody. Hi. Okay, so here is the first question. And you guys are gonna have to you're gonna have to guess this because you probably don't know. What year did the Jacksons get a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame? What are you raising your hand? We're not in school. <laughs> what? Was it 1981? Nope. Close. Yes! Shannon won! Yay! <laughs> Let's see what you want, Shannon. Let's see what Shannon won, everybody. Here's your gift and a gold bag. And hold it up to the camera. Oh, cool. Oh, that's oh, nice. <laughs> yep. That's nice. I finally found the rest of my questions. <laughs> okay. Okay. The next question is a family question. How many babies did Katherine Jackson have? I don't know who said it first. <laughs> Ryan, family picture, family portrait. Pretty. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. You guys are smart. That's good. I want to get some hard questions now. Okay. Name the first song that the Jacksons 5 recorded and released. Big boy. You already got a present. Here you go. I'm skipping a beat. Ooh, there they are. Look at the back. Yeah. There's the record. Oh, nice. Okay. Oh my God, Ryan is smart. I gotta, I gotta come up with some harder questions. Okay. Let's see. Uh. Oh, here's the rest of them. Okay. Um, okay, so let's let's try this one. What year did Big Boy come out? No. 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 Sixty-nine. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan, oh my God, it was 1968. <laughs> okay. Aha, I have a harder question. Okay. I have a hard question now. Let's see if y'all know this one. What was the Jacksons' name, the name of their group, before they were the Jackson Five. The Jacksons. I can't stand you. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> they were called the Jackson Brothers. Now this is a very rare photo. This is when they were the Jackson Brothers. This is from the Tiny Tots Jamboree on Michael's birthday from 1965. And this is from Evelyn LaRue. Mm -hmm. She was the lady who named them the Jackson Five. And this was her event. So you pass to see everybody. You can see this is history. So you can see it. Aww. Yeah, you can pass it around. Thank you, Mother Diva. Oh, you're welcome. Okay. Now, I couldn't find any... There's, there, there is no posters of this club, but I found something else. But whoever gets the right answer can win this. Okay. So, when the Jackson... 
Jacksons were kids, they used to perform at a lot of little lounges and things in the Chicago area. Name a lounge that the Jacksons performed in that is also a candy. A candy. I'll give you a hint. It's a candy that comes out around Christmas time. You're in the area. It's a lounge that's named after a candy. <laughs> okay, so this is actually from the High Chaparral when they were kids, and you can see it says the Jackson 5 on there. Ryan's going to get all the presents. <laughs> so you said you went to see the Jacksons start? No. I just think that picture is in this what is that? Michael sitting at by the Jackson Star. But that's like the same. But you know what? Here's the interesting <laughs> thing about where the star is. The star is on Vine. Yeah. It's not on Hollywood Boulevard. Right, yeah. So they like threw them on a side street. <laughs> it's like you on the side, okay? <laughs> okay. All right, let's see. First place one. All right, let's see what else we have here. Okay. All right, let's see if you guys know this one. What year was the Jacksons inducted into the Rock and Roll? <laughs> what year was the Jacksons inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? You was ready? Okay, Darlene. <laughs> you get a cover of Steel Town. That one is We Don't Have to Be 21 to Fall in Love, and the other side is Jam Session. Those were the other songs that were on Steel Town that they he put they put out on Dynamo Records. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So, let me see what the rest of my questions. I had a bunch of questions here. Y'all, I'm trying to get my questions. I had so many. I don't even know where the I put them in this book. Okay, big boy, what year it came out? Okay, we answered that question. Okay. Okay, let's see if you guys know this. Oh, let me see how I worded the question. <laughs> Ryan's gonna get everything, okay. Okay, which brother of the Jacksons was born on his mother's birthday? Here you go, Mayata. This is the first talent contest that they won uh, from the Gilroy Stadium in Gary, Indiana. All right, thank you. Got a lot of history. Okay. Let's see. All right. Um, let's see what else I have here. I didn't gave out everything. Okay, this is, yeah, that. Okay, now I can separate these. Okay, let's see what are the questions that I have. Okay, we got that one. We got that one. We got that one. We got that one. Huh. No, you're not, and you can't answer that question. You know that already. You're right. Okay. All right.
right, in order to get this one, let me see. Okay. All right, how many Jackson siblings were born in the month of May? Oh my God, my yeah, that's correct. Oh, I was counting Catherine, sorry. Okay, do you know? Wait a minute, okay, but do you know the, the answer to the other question? Two of the siblings were born on the same day. Oh my God, I love her. that's awesome. Well, let me show you what you're getting. What am I getting? This is extremely historical. Okay. <laughs> this was some girls want me for their lover done by the Jacksons from Steel Town Records that was distributed to Dynamo Records, but you also get the original copyright form what? from the Library of Congress. Oh. This is the publishing uh, Ben Mo Keith which was the publishing company, but this is also the original copyright. I, I went to Washington and got this. Wow, thank you so much. Yes, I had to go to the Library in Congress to get that. I know, you were telling me about this. Yeah, I, I can't believe you won that. I was on the phone with her. I know, she was on the phone with me talking about this, yeah. This is like, you don't see this kind of stuff nowhere. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. You guys want to take a look at it, anybody? So, like Gordon Keith, was the CEO of Steel Town Records, their first record label. And so Ben Mo Keith, which was Gordon, uh, Ben Brown, and I think Maurice Spencer. Um, he's gonna have to wait till I'm done. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. She's winning everything. <laughs> I know. Okay. So let me see, did I go through all the questions? Okay. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a raffle, because I have two more gifts. Well, actually I have one more gift. <laughs> so I'm gonna do a raffle with the ones who haven't won anything. So we'll just put your name here. Hold this for me so I can get everybody's name. That way somebody else will get something. Brian and Mayata. And that's them too. Okay. So who do we have? We have Greg and Shirley. Let me like Mike. Huh? Let me like Mike. Yeah, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a raffle with all three of you guys because you all didn't win anything. Yeah, what I'm saying is let me write my name. It's Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Where? Yes. And then Diane. I got you, Diane. No, no, I got something. You won already? Oh, you did. Okay. Well, that's not a pin. I know. That's all I have. Okay. Close your eyes and pick one. <laughs> Where's my eyes? Yes. And All then right. I can sit. Okay. Look at what. Okay. She ordering her food. 
My Aggie won the raffle, but I'm waiting on her to order her food. Thank you. No garlic knots. I'm sorry. Hey, lady, you won. Your name got pulled. And wait till you see what you won. You won the first contract that Joe Jackson signed with Steel Town Records. Yes. And. That kind of bent. I'm not surprised. This is the contract that Steel Town Records did with Atlantic to distribute Big Boy, their first song. Wow. Jerry Wexler's signatures on the back. And you also got copies on behalf of the 30th anniversary of Dangerous and the Remember the Time video. You have Dangerous copyrights. You have a copy of Remember the Time copyrights. You have black and white copyrights. <laughs> you have Heal the World copyrights. And you have Keep the Faith copyrights. These are the copies of the original copyright applications from the Dangerous album. You can only get these at the Library of Congress. So if you want to, you know, sh show everybody stuff. Yeah. There you go. So you see Joseph's signature is right here. This is Joseph's signature when he signed with Steel Town from 1967. Okay. So Gordon Keefe's real name was William Adams. Gordon Keefe was a, a stage name. And so you see it says 2300 Jackson, and that's Joseph's signature there. And then on the back of this, this um, contract, what happened was he got them a, a deal with Atlantic Records as a distributor. And Jerry Wexler was the president of Atlantic Records. So you have William Adams, who's with Steel Town Records, and the president, Jerry Wexler. These are very rare documents. Okay, so I got a little folder for you. Oh, I got the folder too? Yes, you get the folder, and you can put everything back in your bag. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay, did y'all have fun? Yeah. Did you guys enjoy that? That was good, huh? Thanks for the oh, you welcome. You know I live for doing all of this. <laughs> now I can sit down and eat. Do you all have any Jack Daniels? <laughs> 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 House Lily, I'll see you guys later. <laughs>